Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, how to uh, upload files uh, using PHP. P PHP, yes. Um, so it's one of the topics that is, uh, I think, um, is most uh, requested by the people and maybe less un understood sometimes. Anyway, um, here what do we have? We have this code we will see soon. We have the front end here and the back end here. First, uh, just uh, a little talk about the form on the front end, which I styled, as you see. Anyway, uh, this is an uh, uh, old lesson. Um, form action, uh, as always, method post, okay. Ank type, this is something quite new, and it's very important because here you are defining the MIME type. Um, anyway, it's important if you want to upload files, you need to define a, an ank type. And this, in this case, uh, because I'm, I want to upload uh, photos, you need to use uh, multi-perm for the form data. Uh, this is required, a must. Then for the rest, we have a label that uh, we can or can even not uh, place it. Input type file, second important thing, input type file. So if you want to, uh, on the front end, the only thing you have to take care is input type file uh, to upload the file, and that's it, and the ang type. Then type submit, uh, submit value, etc. And then there is a small text just to, um, to make the things beautiful. Um, the result is here. So as you see here, we have our normal form. We can select a file if you want. Uh, from uh, our pages, etc. Okay, now let's have a look at the back end. Um, on the back end, we have all this, uh, uh, this piece of code, which we will see uh, line by line. But the, the little spoiler, the only line that really uh, move the files, that upload the file, is this one. Move uploaded file. And then the alert text, okay. Uh, but, uh, since uh, when we accept the files from an external source like a user, you don't want that the user upload a file that is too large, that is not of, of the allowed extension, that is not uh, blah, 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 then we have to make checkings. And that's the difficult part. For the rest, um, for the rest uh, everything is quite good and uh, OK. OK, sorry. Um, so um, let's start looking at this uh, code. Uh, first of all, uh, we have an if check if dollar server request method equal post. We have seen this already. So if here we have a uh, uh, get this, uh, the whole block of code would not be executed. So uh, here we have post, so it will be executed. Then second, uh, second if check. If is set, so if it's present, dollar files photo. Um, so if is set dollar files photo as a, as a, as a global variable, um, and uh, we have a photo here named photo, so we are uh, absolutely fine. Anyway, if is set and and if um, dollar files photo error equal to zero. Um, this uh, um, this in dollar files is a, a associative array of items uploaded uh, with the post method. We can we can simply uh, look at it. Um, we can come here and print print error the the whole uh, the whole dollar files so we can see uh, photo okay unless there are problems um, okay uh, unexpected token as on line 48 okay so the problem was that uh, i put uh, 
a printer in front of uh, the, the, the parentheses and not uh, under it. Uh, sorry, my mistake anyway. Uh, nothing about this uh, Elson line 58, 48. Um, anyway, let's return here. Upload a file. And as you can see here, we have uh, an associative array, um, a part that the, the file already exists, but this is not our problem right now. And we have a name, which is flower JPG. Uh, okay, we have a full path, which is not really important, also because it's the same, but uh, we have a type, which is our format. We have a temporary name, which will return uh, useful, important. We have our error, which is zero, and a size in bytes. Okay, so we have this, uh, okay, apart full path, name, type, temporary th th na name, type, error, and size, and last this. Okay. Uh, and this uh, is important because uh, we are going to use uh, these four uh, or five uh, attributes in the next uh, few lines. In fact, uh, first of all, here we are defining allowed extension, an array of allowed extensions, because we want just a few extensions to be used. Um, and so we created this associative array. Uh, we have JP Iman, uh, JPG, image JPG, JPEG, image JPEG, GIF, and uh, PNG. Um, okay, we just created the array. So this is an array which are with our al allowed extension, and we are going to use it in the following lines. Then we grab the uh, dollar files photo name, so flower.jpg to, to make to remember, uh, dollar files photo type. Uh, which was uh, um, dollar file photo type is this one, no, is this one, not the extension, is this one, um, and then dollar file photo size, which was the other, um, and the other uh, um, attribute. Uh, so okay, uh, we have the we get, we give we get this variable from here. Uh, now, extension, first, another variable, extension, we use the, the variable path info, uh, which is not really used, but uh, returns information about the file path, and it accepts two parameters plus a flag, blah, blah, blah. The point is we get, uh, we give them the file name, uh, which is this one, so our file name, and uh, it can take from the file name, uh, the directory it we, where it's from, uh, the base name, uh, some other things, but more important, the path info extension. So it's going to take not this, but this. Okay. So we are going to take JPG in the case of our flower.jpg. Sorry. Uh, we take JPG and uh, we, are, we, we are going to perform an if check. If Array key doesn't exist. Uh, okay, if uh, if array key exists, um, dollar extension. So we are going to take that extension, um, and we are going to compare it in the allowed extension. So we take the JPG and we compare it inside our extensions. Okay, is the, is is here? But if we come here now, oops. If we come here now, and I take this class.json, okay, it loads here, but once we fire, uh, error select a valid format. I still didn't uh, take away, I didn't save it. Okay, sorry, but uh, of course uh, it, uh, it throws an error it throws an error, error select a valid format, okay? And this is the error, error select a valid format, because 
uh, if uh, array key doesn't exist, inside here it throws the error. If it exists, which it does, uh, in our cases, uh, we, we move on with our um, with our if statements. Next, uh, we are going to check for the for the file size. Very simple. Uh, we define a max size of five gig uh, megabytes with a simple calculation, and then we check if file size, our attribute, is major than the max size five megabytes. Die. Uh, and die, I didn't say it, uh, you, we could use the if, uh, uh, we could use uh, the parentheses, but in this case, uh, in this way, since we have just one statement, it makes the code uh, simpler and cleaner. Anyway, um, okay. Then, then last, last, not last, uh, then we verify the MIME type. Uh, we are verifying uh, the same, uh, not the file extension, we are not using this, but we are using this right now. Let's see. Um, we take file type. Um, we, we take file type, so this, which as I said, is this. And then, and we compare it in the allowed extensions. Uh, if we have a look at how it's used, uh, this uh, in array function, very quickly, uh, in array function searches an array for a specific value, okay? Um, as you can see here, people, we have this array. Uh, it says, uh, um, if in array uh, there is 23 in people, true, Vabbè, true, we don't use true, but as you see, it's checking if uh, a, a, a particular element is present inside an array. That's what we wanted to do here. We are saying if file type, the, the attributes of our of our flower.jpg is present inside our allowed extension, uh, but not the key, not the key, the value. We are checking for the values in this case. Okay, fine. Uh, then we can move on. Otherwise, else uh, there was a problem uploading your file. Uh, if it's fine, uh, last check if file exists inside the new folder uh, dot file name. If file exists in the new folder dot file name, uh, uh, echo file dot file name already exists. Else, and last, we are actually moving our file our uploaded file, move uploaded file, we take this dot dollar, dollar files temporary name. So because it, uh, we are taking the temporary name of our file, uh, which is the name with which we can, uh, we can take our file and move it into, into our folder. And then inside the new for and then we move it and change it, it and change its name into this name, which is the the path, uh, which is actually the path uh, where we want uh, uh, the our um, our file to be placed into. And that's it. And that's it. Uh, otherwise, uh, no, just uh, otherwise. Last thing: if any of this checked goes uh, uh, get fired but the move uploaded file is uh, is uh, unsuccessful um, we have another uh, error that uh, displays uh, error files photo error which actually is not doesn't work really well because photo error just displays a zero or a, or a number nothing more uh, explicit or gracefully as someone would say but uh, this piece of uh, of uh, of code works pretty well uh, in fact as you can see now i didn't um, we didn't uh, i didn't uh, remove that printer since now but uh, we can um, come here we can take our 4.jpng Your file has been uploaded successfully, and as you can see here, we have our folder.jpng. Okay, 
and that's it that's this is all for this lesson quite short i hope you enjoyed you followed you understood as always i invite you to to go into what we say this is just the beginning go inside every single function and have a look at their specific feature because uh, it's really needed i think thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video